Hi everyone, it's Don, and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Well, I had to cancel a couple of my cruises, but it really has nothing to do with what's going on out there. Um, but we do have some updates again, and then I'll fill you in on why I canceled my cruises. First off we have the Diamond Princess and some more cases came down yesterday. That brings another 30 plus passengers have come down with the illness. So it, it, it just seems every day there's more and more passengers and eventually they got to do something because they think they have it under control but it sure does not seem like it when you're in a single spot like that and there keeps getting more and more people it's it's not it's easy to think that that's not under control that's just going to spread to everybody and eventually everyone will have it it'll get over and then they'll release everybody it's just weird it, it is it's not a great situation in the least at all that brings it to around 174 passengers on board right now or well that have contracted it they've been removed and brought to hospitals in Yokohama so it's not looking real terrific for everybody on board the princess the diamond princess um, and also now maybe maybe a ray of light a ray of sunshine if you will the Westerdam that was supposed to dock in Thailand and then the next day Thailand said no we don't want you well we have another update today from them and apparently they've gotten permission to dock and disembark passengers in Cambodia now Cambodia is very highly attached to China their economy is very based in China they uh, you know if China wasn't there they would go bankrupt in other words and the Cambodia president president in fact has stated that they will fine and maybe even arrest any reporters or foreign nationals walking around with a face mask in his country so um, I'm pretty sure most people getting off this ship are going to be in that condition or have those face masks going on just in case um, and they're one of the few countries that have not stopped any transactions flights or people going back and forth from China so read that into whatever you will they finally found a country that will take you uh, that has no precautions whatsoever against what's going on out there Hmm. <laughs> yeah, we'll see what happens with the Westerdam. If they're supposed to disembark tomorrow, hopefully they can. Now, um, that's really it for the cruise news. This next update is going to be more personal. I'm getting a lot of messages and a lot of people were asking me because they knew that I had a whole bunch of tests. So if anyone's been trying to reach me lately, I've been in and out of the hospital getting a bunch of tests done and uh, if you know my history I have a couple videos out of the 850 that are on the channel I have maybe two that talk about my medical issues in the past ever since 2018 when I last had my fifth uh, cancer surgery um, there was one little node left up here and it was always around 0.6 millimeters it's always staying very very small so small they couldn't biopsy it and six months went by no change then it, at one point it went to 0.7 but it didn't really change it didn't get click solid it still stayed clear so anyway um, we were hoping that that would be the case again this time and if it would have been the case this time chances are that meant it would have been just scar tissue from the previous surgeries uh, but unfortunately I got some bad news 
and um, it had grown from the 0.7 it was at to 11 now. So in six months it grew like almost 45%, which means now that they're considering looking at it and saying we probably have to go in for more surgery. Another, uh, that'll be my third lung surgery uh, for this little thing that I have. <laughs> So yeah, I, I, I had some cruises that I was all set to book. I wanted to go on the Island Princess in April. 28 days going to Hawaii and out to Bora Bora and to that area and back to Los Angeles. I was kind of looking forward to that one, um, especially going on the Island Princess. And you'll see that reasoning in a future video. But uh, yeah, I've had to cancel that one. I had to cancel one that I had for the end of March that I had booked because I don't know when they're going to send me in. They want me now to go for pulmonary uh, test, which means how long I can hold my breath and how lo strong my lungs are to see if my lungs are even strong enough to go in for surgery. Uh, I'm pretty sure they are. I pretty haven't had any problems that way. Uh, all my other tests have come back that I'm good to go and then I'll be brought in to see the surgeons and they will assess it one more time and say yes or no. And if they say yes, it could be, you know, a matter of two weeks and I'm in for my surgery. And the good news is the last two lung surgeries I had, very easy on me. Didn't really slow me down much. I went in on a Friday and I was out on a Sunday. Um, and I was up and around in the hospital the day of the surgery. So it's not, uh, it's not anything I'm scared of or anything like that. It's just very, very disappointing I have all these trips in mind that I can't go and but don't worry no matter what I've already told them I will be available on June 13th to the 20th for our Alaska group cruise I don't care if I have to postpone the surgery till after June or they're gonna get me done right away and then I have all that time to recover beforehand so that's where I stand right now it wasn't terrific news for myself it could have been much worse the worst news would have been that, yes, that spot has grown and we see other spots. That would have been really, really bad. But everything else so far, they checked my abdomen, they checked my colon, where all the other surgeries and the liver, where all my other cancer nodes were, and there's still no reoccurrence of anything in those areas. So that's terrific news. That's, uh, but as you can imagine, it's been weighing on my mind the last few days, so I've been kind of in la la land in my brain actually right the last few days going because i had my hopes up my stepfather went in for his surgery and he's doing miraculously well i uh, my my sister who had colon cancer has been diagnosed completely clear now she doesn't even have to go back and see the doctor for any more tests she's been she's cleared so i was hoping i would get that exact same news and unfortunately, <laughs> I, uh, I did not quite receive the news that I was hoping for, but I literally have about 100 emails and about 140 messages on Facebook asking me how it went and how everything was. And I'm quite sure some of the phone calls I've been missing. Um, the trouble with my business phone right now is if I'm on the phone, I don't know somebody's calling me and for some reason it's not sending it to a voicemail. So if anyone's calling me and it's just ringing and ringing and ringing, it's because I'm on the phone already and it is for some reason not letting me know and I've got a contact in the bell. They're supposed to send a service representative any day. I've been waiting for about five days now, nothing and getting very frustrated. I may have to change my provider altogether. But those are just woes and concerns. Um, I just wanted to put that out there to everybody that uh, has been asking. And this is the easiest way to get back to 200 to 300 people. <laughs> is to just do a quick video on it. Um, so again, we have some good news in out there and some bad news. Bad news for the Diamond Princess. Good news for the people on the Wester Dam that they're finally going to be able to get off the ship. And hopefully this nightmare of a cruise for them is over with. And hopefully my doctors get back to me really soon saying, uh, let's go in, do those tests, let's get that operation done. So I have plenty of time to recover. 
for our group cruise in June. Uh, no matter what, I will be there. Uh, so there's no fear in that. But again, I just want to thank everybody who kept on messaging me, asking me how I was, how am I feeling, and that's, that's where I'm at. I'm still doing good. I'm still doing well. I feel good. I just was a little, little disappointed. Well, I hope you appreciate this news update. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more tips, more tricks, more travel vlogs from around the world, hit that subscribe button. Till next time, have yourself a safe and a great vacation.